I'd like to welcome everybody to my tutorial for Windows 10 new feature called Cortina. Um, just a little bit about Cortina. Cortina is a new search engine provided by Microsoft which allows you to filter the way you search and also allows you to uh, use either type or uh, voice. In this particular tutorial I'm going to use the voice because I don't normally use that. Um, let, me, let me show you a little bit about it first uh, just, to, just to get you to understand it. This is actually included in the Windows 10 that's going to be released July 29th of this year unless uh, Microsoft decides that uh, they need to do more testing before they release it. But as of right now, it's, it's still set to, to July 29th. <clears throat> Just like Windows 8 and Windows 7, the, the, you know, the start menu is right here. Now, if you look next to the start menu, you'll see a little moon, that, like a lunar moon, and that's where Cortina is located. Um, this comes by default on Microsoft Windows 10, and um, they said that it should be staying there. So if I click on it, it brings up the palette, and on the palette, you have a couple different features here. For one, is that you'll see like a little house located here on the left. This house is the home. This is what does all your searching and how you can do your search, whether it be on your computer or on the web, depending on <clears throat> depending on what you're searching for and your filters. And then underneath that, you have your notebook. This is how you do your advanced searching. So where you can search for specifics. In other words, uh, like a, as you can see, eat or drinks or events or finances, movies, music. So that way your search will pertain to just those type of, uh, of uh, searches. And then there's a light bulb underneath here, which is pretty much your reminders for calendar or if you have an appointment for doctors. It's a nice little feature that they're adding. It's cross-platform between uh, your, your cell phone and your your computer it's to collaborate all your devices within one now on on the version I'm running here I have this uh, the fifth tab here this fifth tab is just to provide feedback on the the tool itself let's Microsoft know you know what I think is good about it and what I don't like about it this will not be included on the on the, the you know release candidate but for today we're gonna go ahead and go to the home and we're gonna demonstrate a search now as I said before you can either type in your search here or you can use the the voice recognition the way you use the voice recognition is by clicking on the microphone it'll say listening and then you speak whatever you want to search and it will go ahead and recognize whatever you said and and go ahead and search for you I'm gonna go ahead and try that now University of Phoenix as you can see it, it propped the words in the listening box then instantly opened up a web browser of my choice. It could either be you know, Firefox or or the, the new uh, web Microsoft Edge, which I'll go into on my next tutorial. As you can see, it brings up suggested searches and gives you all the possible searches of University of Phoenix. You know, the Facebook pages, the Wikipedia, um, the actual site, which is our, like our campus here. And, um, this is this is how Microsoft is working their new voice to text and this concludes my tutorial